the modular drive concept enables the EQE SUV to offer a wide range of maximum total outputs from 180 kW to 300 kW. Depending on the vehicle equipment and configuration, the European models achieve WLTP ranges of over 590 km too. In the EQE SUV, the lithium-ion battery consists of 10 modules. In certain cases the innovative battery management software, which was developed in-house, can be updated over THEA. The electric motor on the rear axle is particularly powerful due to its six-phase operation, it has two windings with three phases each, to recuperate, the driver does not need to press the brake pedal, literally one pedal driving. Thanks to ECO Assist, the EQE SUV also decelerates automatically to a standstill when it detects vehicles ahead, for example at traffic lights. The charging system is located above the rear axle of the EQE SUV. It can be used to charge the battery from the public mains with single phase or three phase alternating current and an optional charging capacity of up to 22 kilowatts. Mercedes Benz issues a battery certificate for its high voltage batteries and thus a performance guarantee to customers 10 years or a mileage of 250,000 kilometers with a defined residual capacity. The chassis of the new EQE sub comprises a four link suspension at the front and an independent multi link suspension at the rear. Thanks to the comparatively short wheelbase of 3030mm and the corresponding suspension tuning, it feels particularly agile and maneuverable even with the basic setup. The airmatic air suspension with ADS plus continuously adjustable damping is available as an optional extra one. To increase ground clearance, the vehicle level can be raised by up to 30mm. Rear axle steering with a maximum steering angle of 10 degrees is available as an option. With the MBUX hyperscreen, optional, three displays merge almost seamlessly into one another to create an impressive band over 141 cm wide, driver's display, screen diagonal, 12.3 inches, central display, 17.7 inches, and front passenger display, 12.3 inches, appear as one visual unit. The selected display style is shown uniformly on all screens, and the brightness is homogeneously adapted to the lighting conditions in the interior. The control panels for the automatic climate control system are located in the lower area of the central display. These remain permanently displayed so that the driver and front passenger can directly adjust the temperature and ventilation. For particularly brilliant display quality, OLED technology is used for the central and front passenger displays. Their individual pixels are self-luminous, non-actuated image pixels remain switched off, which means that they appear deep black. The active OLED pixels, on the other hand, radiate with high color brilliance, which also results in pronounced contrast values. The central and front passenger displays also provide haptic feedback. When a finger touches certain spots on the touch screen, actuators 8 in the central display, 4 in the front passenger display, trigger a perceptible vibration of the glass cover. The user thus feels pulses on the smooth surface, which give the impression of a mechanical switch Another operating aid that will be familiar from high-quality consumer electronics products is the force feedback of both displays. Different levels of pressure on the glass change the response. For example, MBUX then jumps to another menu level. The 12.3-inch OLED display with separate user interface makes the journey more interesting and entertaining for the front passenger. 
the system uses intelligent, camera-based blocking logic that detects if the driver is looking at the front passenger display. See separate section.